folks, Oh, here with Soap King News, and I'm Caleb with the movie Florence. Now this one is a uh, short, I believe. Okay, so we're talking about a girl who is misdiagnosed and given drugs that are probably not the right one. The first question is, does this have any inspiration with some of the real stories that go around this country? Because I, as, as a kid with ADD, I kind of went through the same thing. Oh yeah, and you had to. I mean, that, that was my initial introduction to the whole entire uh, mental illness, you know, yeah. quote unquote, which I think is a really wrong word for it. But uh, I had like a brother's, like he was like 10 year old, and they, you know, they were giving him Ritalin and he's just talking about feeling weird. You know, yeah. it's like a very, I mean, you're 10 years old, like to have that sort of description is very odd. He had like a and the sensation of falling off the building and my dad had to sort of like talk him down in the oh. ER parking lot you know and it's, it's, like, it's like Woodstock you know that's like Woodstock badass and yeah. where they're like it's gonna be fine and don't worry you know and so so that's where I got my initiation into it and then uh, I had a friend who committed suicide who I dedicated the film to uh, when we were 20 years old and he had his own battle with depression and all that but he like, jumped into the medication it's used to it as well you know but I mean it's just like there's this powerful stuff that I think is just sort of thrown around as if uh, you know yeah. symptomatic cures are the way to like actually make something better exactly and not always are you know, I, I went through the room too and, and there's my doctors are still convinced that it caused some of the threats that I have when I get stressed out really I have a face when I get really stressed I have this tick uh -huh. and, and shoulder twitches and yeah so I I, I really appreciated this story um, now I have to ask you it, 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 I, the picture itself shows the girl with several hands on her it, it, I was, did you use any visuals like maybe like, like went into her head or anything? Give me a little bit about the film and the, and the angle you came from. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I guess like a big part of it was just trying to have like some sort of you know, dichotomy between like what the, the real world is and like what her own sort of safe space is. And so, when um, she's in school and everything like that, like things are just sort of more uncomfortable, they're more sort of sterile and everything. And then when she's able to sort of like have her headphones in, she's sort of out, she's like, she's in nature, you know, she's sort of more in touch with sort of like, I mean, you know, like the, the origin of, of what it is. And I mean, I have a big belief that I think a lot of quote unquote mental illnesses are, like if you go back, few hundred years, few thousand years of people, you know, schizophrenic might be like a, a problem, you know, and so we live in this place where we're worried about we, these societies with tons of people with very small closed spaces, and that's claustrophobic to me, you know, and like, I mean, I'm not, not been diagnosed with anything, so I think if you have some sort of extrasensorial uh, gift, you know, uh, you're just going to be kind of thrown into these episodes. Yeah. Uh, and so, I mean, as far as like the actual like with her mouth being held open with the pills like I think that's just like a, it's kind of like a fever dream that's kind of that's like where a lot of the the initial sort of story came from yeah. I initially had a white room in the beginning and that was taking a lot of um, a lot of inspiration from this uh, painter uh, this cerebral painter Leonora, Leonora Carrington and uh, just lots of like really just sort of subversive and like twisted imagery but then sort of got away from that and tried to stick a little bit more within a little bit within the world right the so how long is the actual film itself? Uh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. It, it, it's really interesting you're telling it a big story in such a short time. Uh, yeah. Short films, most people think short films are 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, the eight minute range is the student film, but this is very powerful for a short frame of time. Uh, how long did it take you to actually film it? Oh, uh, filming was six days. We had a seventh day where we melted arms and, <laughs> and stuff like that. And so okay. it didn't feel so much like a like a full day on that one. But yeah, yeah it's about like six days. We got to shoot like we had some shot thirty four millimeter and the rest was on the about seven. So it was uh, it's just whenever you can get out and film, you know, it's nice to take the time and get back into the ritual of oh, it's, filmmaking. It's so much fun. Yeah. We have my kids and I have a couple of super eights that we play mm -hmm. with just because it's so much fun. Yeah, yeah there's something about when you get a tangible medium for Absolutely. like the visual. You know, like I just had the uh, Super 16 sort of experimental short film program here. The last one was actually like they had someone from Germany had sent the whole vocals that had sent uh, an actual reel, you know, to be like projected. Yeah. And it's just, you know, you watch it and it's just like, it feels very different than like just a projector. But all yeah. of a sudden you're actually saying, oh, we're having like light and like film actually interact. So yeah. I, I love whenever that, that opportunity sort of happens. Yeah, I mean, as much as I love new digital technology and I'm teaching it to my kids, I'm with you. There's, I have old tube amps and mm -hmm. old reel to reels in my house. I love tube I'm one of those two. Right? So. It's the warmth of it. Yeah. And so that's what we tried to do a lot with like having the 
digital and the film, you know, the film was like organic and warm and sort of fuzzy and that's her safe place, you know, and then the digital world was like a bunch of sort of like, it's a bunch of ones and ones that very sort of like, yeah. sort of this yeah. so that's like, Part of the problem. Oh, and that's a great pass. I love that idea of how to do that. So, what do you? What, what's next from you? What can somebody? What, what can our home audience look for from you next? Mm. You feature another short? Right, right. Well, the most immediate thing is um, we. I, I put together a group of people. Uh, everyone who I've known from, like just some people from film school. We had six of us, two actors I worked with on a previous uh, feature and shot. We went to Pine Island, Louisiana. It's gonna be this short horror film called With the Picture. Uh, it's a super gorgeous, had a really good crew, it was very intimate. Uh, it was very like creatively turned on the whole time, and I think everyone was. And so and so that'll that the screening of that would be in September, I guess. And then otherwise I'm going back home up to Alaska to start a feature documentary about uh, the Fairbanks Four, which are uh, three Alaska natives, one uh, Native American group. Uh, wrongfully accused of murder and they were let out 18 years later so we go up there sort of look at their loss of 18 years and then parallel it with the lost generation which is uh, Alaska Natives of like the, yeah. the passage generation of culture with yeah. grandparents only speaking the indigenous language and kids of the yeah. grandkids only speaking English and so the one in the middle they call it the lost generation so, and sort of have some parallels going between that. Talk about the racism that still exists. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, yeah it's, it's, a, it's a big topic. It's yeah. that people are talking about it. And people are open to talk about it. So. Yeah, of that. That sounds really interesting. I love a good documentary. So yeah. good luck on that one. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Caleb, go see his short and anything else he does. Thank you for talking to me today. Thank you so much, man. Oak Cliff Film Talks to you. My name is Mo.